Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the hinge on your dishwasher door. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we completely remove the dishwasher from the cabinets, we we'll wanted to separate the inner and outer door panels. So simply open the door up and then we're going to remove the screws that secure the outer panel to the inner panel. Now on models that have the controls on the top, you'll want to leave the second screw down in place on both sides. If your model has front controls, you'll need to remove all of the screws and tilt that front panel forward. And then you can lift it completely off of the hinges and then we'll set that aside. Now with the front panel completely removed, we can then pull the dishwasher the rest of the way out of the cabinets so that we can access the springs at the back. And we're just gonna go ahead and disconnect those. But you'll wanna make sure that you secure that door panel so that it doesn't accidentally open on you. You either take a clamp and just hold it in a closed position, and then we'll release the door springs. Your model has multiple places for the door spring to attach to. Take note of which location it's in. Then we'll simply grasp the end of that spring with a pair of pliers and unhook it. If your model uses this type of a corded link, make sure you take note of how it's rooted around the rollers at the front. Now, once we've released the door spring, we'll also need to open up this area on the bottom of the hinge where it sits over that pivot pin. So we're either using a large flat blade screwdriver or a pair of pliers, we'll separate that. and then we'll go to the front of the dishwasher. Now next, we're going to remove that quarter inch hex head screw that secures this mounting bracket from both hinges. And then we're going to open the door slightly and remove the two mounting screws that go through the side of the door onto that hinge. For that, you'll need a number 20 Torx head bit. And again, because we don't have both hinges connected, the door may open a little easier than normal. So be sure to support it. And then we'll remove these two screws. Close the door up and secure it. We'll disconnect the link from the backside of that hinge. And again, you may need to spread that bottom of that hinge a little more to lift it off that pivot point. Remove the old hinge and discard it. Now before we install the new hinge, we want to clean up the frame area here a bit. And then we'll apply a little bit of food grade grease. Then we're going to position the new hinge in place. And the larger slot is what's going to fit down over top of that pivot point. Make sure that support bracket goes in behind. Then we'll open up the door again. And then we'll need to line up the screw holes in the new hinge. Make sure they're tightened securely. Again, we'll close the door up. You can attach the link to the hook on the back of the door hinge. Then we're gonna bend over that tab around that pivot pin. Now we're ready to put the screw back into that support piece. You'll need to line that up, the hole in the front of the hinge. Now you'll probably have to push that hinge in slightly to line that screw up. Now we're ready to reconnect the 
spring at the back of the dishwasher. Again, using our pliers, simply grasp the end of the spring, pull it back, make sure it fits firmly into the hole at the back, or if yours was a model that had a notch on the side that it attached to, be sure that it's attached to the proper one. And now we're ready to put the front panel back on. Now when installing the front panel, you need to make sure that that cutout on the flanged edges of that panel sit down on top of those hooks on the hinge. So line it up side to side. Allow it to sit down on that and it should support itself. Now we can open that door up, and press the two halves together. We probably need to lift up slightly on that outer door panel. We line up the screw holes. Now make sure those screws are nice and tight. And we'll put the top corner ones in, which are the longer ones. Now we're ready to rope the drain hose into place and push our dishwasher back into the cabinets. Now with the dishwasher pushed back into the cabinets, the first thing we'll need to do is to connect the mounting tabs to the bottom of your countertop. We'll also need to reconnect our inlet water supply and we'll turn that on to make sure that we have no leaks. We'll reconnect the drain to the sink and ensure that we have no leaks there as well. Then we're ready to reconnect the power and your repair is complete.